with the one and only Joe Franco. I swear, this kid's only 15, man. Pushes some amount of weight. Good shit. This kid's a beast. Look at him. Let go. One more. Let go. Yeah. Kids a beast, bro. Kids a beast, man. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to take the time to commentate over this shoulder workout and just discuss a couple of things. But here I am starting out with the seated barbell shoulder press and working with 135. And we started off with pyramid style and then later on did drop sets. But, you know, here I am trying to rep it. I think I got seven, seven reps, not sure. But not going to lie to you guys, towards the end it was getting kind of heavy. You know, was not easy. But then again, nothing comes easy. But... Here is this kid, Jafranco, that I was talking about earlier in the video, and he's only 140 pounds and 14 years old. And before I just, you know, go on about this kid is, you know, his drive and determination to accomplishing his goals. And it's honestly really motivating to see, you know, this kid having that drive to push himself and, you know, pushing his body to his limits, as you can see right here, working with 135 and just, you know, struggling at that last rep, but, you know, he got it with a little help. But then later on, moving on with some Arnold's and I think supersetting it with just regular, you know, shoulder press, but going to failure. And one of the things I wanted to discuss to you guys about is, you know, not letting your ego get in the way, you know, and, you know, always taking baby steps and reaching your goal, you know, there's no rush in this. It's all about enjoying the journey and, you know, making progression along the way. I see a lot of people, you know, in the gym and, you know, letting their ego get in the way. And it's not like that. And I even tell Jafranco that don't let your ego get in the way. Don't, you know, it doesn't matter how much weight you're pushing. As long as you're reaching your goals and, you know, making sure you're accomplishing them. It's what it's all about. And the kid behind him right now, spotting him, is my brother. And he's a beast, too. He's a little shy. But, you know, both of these guys, I enjoy working out with them because, you know, they don't make excuses. And they're just, you know, they're here for one reason. It's, you know, growing, you know, not phys not just physically, but mentally and growing together. You know, always striving to be your best. And, you know, a lot of problem that I see nowadays, and even with myself, is, you know, doubting yourself and you know thinking you can't get there you know not be able to reach your goals but in reality you can you gotta believe because you know once you believe you're already halfway there you gotta you know keep striving to be your best and you know reaching your goals and here i think along moving on with the side laterals i enjoy doing this exercise i can feel them very well in the deltoids but you know as i was saying guys you know it's all about enjoying the progress and the journey and making those baby steps. You know, it's honestly you versus yourself. It's how bad do you want it. Don't make excuses and, you know, always believe that you can do it. Because in the end, you know, the results will be, will be endless. But that's all I have to say, guys. And enjoy the rest of the video and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.
there's a nature valley bar some gummy bears to finish the workout and can't forget about the little bro being a bitch and doesn't want to be filmed say something to the camera man why camera shy <laughs> but uh about to go to chick-fil-a have a dank ass meal see you soon so Bay decided to meet up with me check her out isn't she beautiful guys it's just the Lancer though, it's not the Evo. Let's try it though. <laughs> and we arrived at Chick-fil-A. I've been here like once. I didn't mind it, it was pretty good. Okay. Have you guys been here before? Nope. I need First my time trying it. First time trying it. Let's go in here. See all these spaces. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Check me out, guys. Check me out. Alright, I got a spicy deluxe. And uh, some fries, some chicken nuggets. I ain't cut it. Yo. All right, what'd you get, man? You got a grilled, grilled chicken club sandwich and small waffle fry. Yeah, we're not fucking cutting, guys. We ain't pussies. We're eating like men here. Oh yeah. What'd you eat? Same shit. You got the same thing as me. It's good as fuck. Post-workout meal. Look at Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Look at that. I love this dog. Rocky! Sit! Rocky! There you go, good boy. But uh, just got back from Chick-fil-A, as you guys saw, my post-workout meal. And I'm gonna finish off the night with a banana and a couple green tea, because I'm feeling pretty full right now. But uh, here's an ab shot after Chick-fil-A. <sighs> Still relatively lean, which is the goal here, but, you know, Still trying to enjoy some good foods out there, not going crazy about it. And, you know, still including some cardio every now and then. But, uh, that's how I'm looking. But stay tuned for the next video, guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more.